hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Exotic Wine Travel. I am your host, Matthew Horky. So we're doing a, a little hybrid video today. This is going to be on our regular, one of our regular YouTube episodes. Plus it's an update, a Kickstarter update for Discover Hungarian Wine. If you haven't backed it yet, back it today. Uh, we still have a big mountain to climb, but you know what? We're just going to keep, we're trying to build some momentum, trying to create a snowball effect to get this project off the ground. We want to make it the definitive guide uh, in English to Hungarian wines. But in this episode, we're going to break down the region of Sexard. I just recently got back from visiting the region for a day. I want to thank uh, Vita Peter of Vita Winery for setting up a wonderful afternoon, a wonderful day of visiting vineyards, even though it was wet, rainy, we couldn't see a lot, and then meeting with some of the smaller producers in the region. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this is one of Hungary's premier red wine regions. You know, when you think of red wine in Hungary, there's there's four that come to mind. Uh, one of the most prestigious is Villan, which is a little bit south, Sexard, Chopron, which borders Bergenland, and Eger, where they also make Bikavar, that's, uh, that's further north, actually next to Tokai. So, just a little word on Sexard, there's about 2,400 hectares of vineyards there. It's a region that I love. It's one of my favorite regions in Hungary. Sexard is a cool region because there's a lot of microclimates. If you're going down the highway from Budapest to south, you'll also even see these strips of hills. These north, they're, they're a strip of mountain, low-lying mountains, hills that go uh, north to south. And from the highway, you couldn't even tell it's a wine region. But once you should get into those hills, you're going to see cool little valleys, which create tons of microclimates. There's not a lot of big, humongous plots of vineyards. Uh, most, of the vine most vineyard plots are small, and they're hidden within some of these valleys. That's why they're trying to develop a crew system to identify some of these great terroirs. Most of the soil there you're going to see is loss. Sexardi wines are the kind of wines that I drink every single day, especially Bikaver. So I'm going to show you what you're going to find. So in Sexard, you're typically going to find red wines. There are some white wines being made, but most of the production is red. You're going to find varietal wines, uh, exciting wines like these uh, wines from Hitenyi. Kadarka is made there into a varietal wine. Kek Frankosh. This uh, Tabernacle Kek Frankosh is also fantastic. You're also going to see varietal wines from Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, Merlot, Cabernet Franc, uh, I th Syrah in some aspects. That, that's mostly what you're going to see. I find the Kek Frank the Kek Frankosh and the Kadark wines to be very exciting and very underpriced, especially if you're in Hungary. They're spicy or they're medium body reds. They're very, very food friendly. Uh, Cabernet Franc as a varietal is also something that does really, really well. It has some of the leafy black olive notes that you like. Maybe down in Villan, they're a little bit bigger, a little more brooding, but in sex art, they kind of resemble a Cabernet Franco, uh, kind of like a riper Chinon Bourgoy in style. <clears throat> On top of that, you're going to see Bikavers. That's right, Sexard is one of the regions besides Ega that can make Bikaver or bull's blood. Now what you're going to see, these wines are made up of about 40, at least 40 to 45 percent of Kek Francos. It's got to be about 5% of Kadarka, and then you can play Syrah, uh, Syrah, Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc. I've seen Sagrantino, Carmenere in these blends. I think these wines are outstanding. They're something that you should try when you're hungry. I've seen, I've tasted ones that have been everything from uh, maybe a village Burgundy in style all the way up to a really nice Chianti Classico with some grippy tannins. I love Sexardi Bikover. It's something that I want to drink every single day. It's a reason why I love Hungarian wines in general. Uh, you're also going to see some single vineyard Bikovers as Sexard's starting to try to roll out some crews. You know, Sebastian is a, a winery that I like very much. I write about so much. I really like their single vineyard Bikovers. It's something that really turned me into the region in the first place. Uh, another thing. Bikaver, Kek Frankos Kadarka, kind of the local Sexard thing, they can be bottled in these Sexard bottles. Now, I'll put this up there. These Sexard bottles are kind of, they're kind of cool. It's, I, I compare it like almost the, it's almost got the round bottom of like a burgundy bottle, but then uh, the slimness of a Bordeaux bottle, and you smush those two together, and that's kind of what you get with a Sexardy bottle. They say Sexard right there. They have to go through a blind tasting of local producers too to be a, for the wines to be able to be bottled in this manner. 
You're also going to see some producers make premium single vineyard, like I said, of the varietal wines. Cabernet Franc, Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot. Uh, you're going to see those up top. You also see some Bordeaux blends, which can be premium wines as well. And at the very top, there's a brand called the Sexard Grand, which can only be declared in, in good vintages. Must be 50% Cake Francoche. Blau Frankish and the rest, uh, a bunch of other varieties that goes through uh, strict yield control and a blind tasting. And these wines are expensive. We're talking uh, 40, 50, 90 euros. Some can be really darn delicious. So if you make it to Hungary, check out some of these wines. They have a great, <laughs> great name, the region Sexard. Uh, and you'll be finding out a lot about those in our book, Discover Hungarian Wine. So if you haven't backed it already, please back it. Let's bring Hungarian wines to the world. It's going to take all of us. And guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Exact Wine Travel. I will see you at the next episode.